Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our endeavor into the medieval world of War Tales. I moved all the way down here to the very border of Aldoran where we are going to go next. A couple of updates. I did a few side quests, nothing in particular. Uh, to write home about, but uh, a few noticeable weapons. So JP Pauly got the Napti's Axe, which is our deciphered loot out of the last dungeon, uh, the temple that we've gotten. So one hand axe for him, which is great. It's kind of a poisoning axe uh, that uh, deteriorates armor uh, and has an AOE attack with a one hand weapon. So pretty cool stuff here. I noticed with Pauly in particular he needs a lot more strength to actually start dealing damage. Other than that, I think uh, he is uh, doing well. Um, Namri on the other hand with her uh, blacksmith uh, journey has already plus 7 uh, basic strengths from there. Good, um, we got level 6 on almost everyone. I did something else which I wanted to uh, um, uh, tell you about. I learned uh, that these weapons can be upgraded. It costs a lot of uh, gold to do so, but the, you can go to the Brotherhood and essentially upgrade the weapons, which is a fantastic option to kind of continue them. So we're going to continue using Viper as a dagger, and I've also upgraded Dagon's hammer. Uh, so going forward we will need to continue upgrading these weapons uh, which will be a costly endeavor i've also made quite a fortune uh, m doing some bounty hunting i'm waiting for other caravans when passing through a warring country it's best to do so in a large group it discourages bandits and you can all pitch in to pay mercenaries well that is great i would uh, mm take you with us if you were to ask fleeing, Artes, and you're going there very well at your cool well we are ready to go further apparently nothing else to see here so count, uh, county of arthurs interesting might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, not particular. I was hoping you would have something outstanding. By the way, I also got us enough ore to work with for the next foreseeable future. Namory, uh, not Namory. Wait, what? Oh, oh no. Our prisoner escaped. How did that happen? Just realized that. Can't be gone for too long. Well, we'll need to get a new one. <clears throat> we need to get a new one. All right, moving up here. Don't want to go too far off of the known path. A little bit of exploration. The last time I didn't do it and actually turned out to be a really bad idea. This, however, seems to be a bandit infested region. Well, we could actually go through it, but unfortunately Ankit has escaped. Hmm, I wonder. How did he escape? Hmm, well, never mind. Good, that was a short exploration there. 
once we get a new um, creeper I will be able to get these guys out and we're starting with a fight against a couple of wolves they are blessed with fragility Oh, lots of wolves, actually. Good, moving up. Cool part about our bow uh, is, and our upgraded uh, bow, is that we're actually dealing an absolute beastly amount of damage. just poison ourselves that was not clever that's a solid kill and that's another one there we go quick and very painful This sheep is only skin and bones. Why would we execute it? Why can't we just take it with us? Hmm, the sheep is shaking quite a bit. Well, guys, why would we just take the sheep with us? Provides us with a lot of wool. Let's inspect what's over here. Very good. A lot of food. I wonder if we leave the sheep alive. If that would be helpful for our cause. It's a level 4 sheep. Can carry something? No. Has a low carrying capacity. Well, we're not letting go anything to waste. By the way, a lot of our uh, a lot of our soldiers have gotten the master in their respective rank. For instance, Namri here, uh, uh, Grell here has uh, finished a cooking exams and is now officially a master chef. I'm a bit miffed that the guy just ran away. That stinks. In the meantime, you are a master scholar. Can we Start letting you sing here. Potentially not. Alright, that and that and that.
Ever since Namri took over the cooking, we never had a problem with our di uh, dietary restrictions or with the amount of food overall. Good. Let's continue to explore. All of these guys are refugees. They're just fleeing. So something is driving them off of these lands. If I had to take a guess, I would say there are quite a few bandits in this area. All right, Corthia. Here, by the way, you can see how you can always build up Before like war, traveling posts. Oh, uh, do we want to spend a thousand? The lot, but then again, it's think? well invested. Locals will be happy to work. All right, interesting. Well, we don't have a, tra a, garnis a garrison so far. Let's check what this uh, city is to offer. I do not believe in Lord Vanalis. Despite in another, if you're willing to teach the. I pray he stay for this war to end. This church is dedicated to Saint Septimus, the seventh son of Jeru our guide and founder of the faith of the light. Jeru and all the other saints are hallowed individuals, but they are only human. The they all seem to be praying to this all-seeing eye, which apparently is a local god here. All right, time to get a couple of jobs, shall we? You seem lost. Are you in need of any promising, isn't it? Is there anything else you'd like to know? Oh yeah, I would Promising, like to get all of the info that Promising, you do have. Unfortunately, I have nothing further to tell. And whilst we're at it, might you be looking for work? Let's review a couple of the employment options here. Yeah, we want the Tome of the Ancients. All right, got a couple of offers here. Look how empty this room is. Before the war, there were two taverns in Cortia, and we were still completely full on market days. Let's fill up our reserves of alcohol. And what else? Market. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. They've been running rampant in these parts since, oh, since the beginning of the war. My meat is quite pungent, I admit, but I can assure you it is still perfectly edible. <laughs> can assure you it's still perfectly edible. That is uh, what someone would say who has really poor on. quality meat. And the heart and Vanalis requisition anything they come across. Good. We could theoretically, by the way, just want to show you that as well. We could craft uh, the next level of uh, armor. I've already learned that. Um, it is... Oh no, I have not. 
I was about to learn it. There we go. Let's learn that. And the heavy Arcadian shield. Anything else we would want? Banner. Precision plus 10%. It's not bad, but it's not fantastic either. All right, we're learning chicken and that all the base recipes, they are going to be helpful. So what I was about to say, we learned uh, the next set of armor, but point being uh, that armor potentially is not going to work for us because it has level requirements. I already know that from the shield because you might have seen it here. I built a rim steel shield, a good one. Um, but yeah, didn't want to move into uh, new crafting too fast. Candy fruit. And yeah, this here looks great. Maximum Vela points increased by two, movement increased by one. Holy, that is really, really good. Strength increased by 20. Culture shock. Well, what would we need? A pork stew and porridge. I have no idea what that means. Pork stew, we don't even have that yet. Yeah, we're eventually getting that a little bit later. Sell three silver in Corthia. Do we even have silver? We do have Arcadian steel, but that's about it. We do not have any silver. Well, that uh, stings. And the other one is an eye for an eye. Return uh, to the priest after completing the smuggler's arena, which is where exactly? Where is that smuggler's arena again? I do not believe in Lord Vanalis's so-called vision for one second. Shouldn't have skipped Think that text. Uh, text. To teach these bandits a lesson by beating them on their own turf. Okay, I see. So similar to the uh, similar to the gladiator, the last time that taught us the assassin uh, subclass. This arena essentially would teach you yet another subclass. That's interesting. You can kind of get extra classes. Good. That's the troop that we need to fight against. Interestingly enough, uh, this region here seems to be level four as well. So it's not really a huge upgrade to what we've seen beforehand. Holly makes sure that everybody can move uh, fast, then moves up, and this is fantastic for a one hand weapon.
plus with his uh, with his uh, retaliation on each hit is actually going to be really really good <laughs> okay, the weapon upgrade has uh, definitely worked out well. It's crazy to see just how much more damage you're dealing if the enemies are slightly under leveled. They are one level lower than we are. But we're brutally slaughtering them. Yeah, specifically the one without uh, shields. I start to get an appreciation for two-hand weapons. That was quite impressive. Yeah, they drop level 3 loot. Okay, we want to continue our path here to see what the first uh, actual storyline is going to look like. That was just a warm-up fight. And we are finding the Corthia Mill. Would you like to buy this map? It is all I have left from my old life, but my children need food more than they need weapons. I'll take it off of you. you really just buy it? Mercenary's treasure, okay. Wait, there is a short bounty just that way. Right over here. I noticed you're getting, comparably speaking, good experience from actually shitting on these low level enemies. Which I find weird, I don't know if that's an oversight in the game design, but a, uh, a fight against uh, these guys takes me mere seconds, whilst a proper like high level fight takes ages. And these guys here give 30-ish experience, whilst higher level enemies uh, tend to give 50. It's really not that much. Good, galvanizing starts to kick in. A 
Very nice. Almost all of uh, them are going to take damage now. Moving over here. Time to lay the hammer. Yep, since we have upgraded the hammer, it is doing God's work. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Good. We need to camp somewhere here. Let's do that, and that, and that. Very good. So we're almost at our destination. We wanted to go to Leonard Castle. Now, if I was to take a guess, I think the throne room is where we need to go. Our spies have spotted strange black caravans around Vanalis's castle. According to our sources, they seem to be ferrying large amounts of gold. This could mean our opponent is getting help from someone outside the region. Interesting. These caravans must be stopped if we want Vanalis's finances to dwindle. That is where you come in. You are going to accompany me. Hidden amongst you, I will look like a mere mercenary and we will infiltrate the enemy territory. We okay. Will then attack one of these black caravans and get to the bottom. Good. One more thing. It will be best if I did not fight. We cannot run the risk of Analysis soldiers recognizing me and raising the alarm. Good for me. Count the Hearts is willing to pay handsomely whoever recruits able bodied men to fight in our ranks. Renegades from both Vanalis's army and ours have gone into hiding in the region. They're capable soldiers, but they've lost the will to fight. If you can convince at least two of these groups to join our cause, the others will follow. Very well then. I'll show you where you might find them. Cool. So apparently we will need to form the resistance to defend this kingdom. All right, nothing else to find here. So we're on our merry way. It's a level five foot soldier with some very basic armor. All right, let's start going over there and recruiting one of those troops. I love the exploration of this game. It's one of my favorite parts, just getting to know a new map. Woe betides anyone mounting the... 
When my sister was at sea, I used to stay here and weave wool. But with this horse causing all sorts of mayhem, I'm too scared to go out and get me loom. This is all I could take with me. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, and I don't want to steal unnecessarily from you, but you had the recipe. We fled to the so black steed. If you want to live, avoid the riverbank. Good. Recipes always worth stealing. And there is our porridge, which is one of the two recipes for this super dish. What do we need for it? Wheat, milk and honey. Uh, honey is not that easy to get by. You can buy it, but I haven't found another way to get it. And it's quite expensive. Another trekker's camp. These are always good. If this is your first time hunting the ghost pack, I suggest you make sure you are fully prepared. Good. We need all of that. And that brings us neatly to 500 suspicion. It is my sport our war paints. You Good. We're still not getting any war paints. War. You wish to join the hunt? You're free to do so. But I must These monsters only appear under the cover of darkness. And if you're still determined to partake in the hunt, I can give you that it will take all that you have to get through it. Very good. So we got two hunts. According to the report, someone was attacked in a field near St. Elur Abbey. The ghost pack was uh, there. Okay. Now we all need to find out where that is. There's a bandit's lair here, which we might also clear out or I'll clear that out of screen. Because now let's continue with the actual quest. Animal essence oil. Inflicted to animals increases by 25%. That's not bad. There is the pork stew. Made out of pork, beans and a lot of salt. Strength plus two, that's great. It's an easy one to craft. Just as easy as uh, the dex plus two. And we got critical hit plus three. That's a fine one. And we got a tanning rack. That is new as well. Produce a leather during the rests. Let's see if we can build that real quick. We need more rope. Well, that's not a problem. Stocks. Uh, assigned prisoner cannot escape during the rest. I think that would have been fantastic if I would have had that. Then Ankif wouldn't have been able to escape. But yeah, you learn these things as you play. I wasn't even sure that they could ex escape. Alright, they create like what? Leather out of it? Interesting. Out of carcasses, apparently.
Okay, I'm getting slightly sidetracked by so much stuff that we can yet again do in our camp. Good. Fantastic. Lovely. Now, let's actually continue. We need to go over there. Brotherhood Training Grounds. Wouldn't surprise me if Councillor Hart or Lord Vanalis ended up hiring us. Those guys over there are rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the same mistake. Learn new skills if you don't want to end up like them. All right, you can always use a run skill. I like the concept of teaching everyone the basic skills makes the team much more versatile and versatility goes a long way in the fights by the way these brotherhoods can also upgrade your weapons so they're actually quite helpful now deal with the deserters is this here the uh, group of deserters it potentially is We might be traitors in your eyes, but what would you do if you were in our shoes? They're ordering us to find well, I would give you some money. Needs the money. I guess this is the price of one. Cool, so we've fixed that, which for whatever reason we're being attacked by bandits in the meantime. I was about uh, to say which concludes uh, that problem, but apparently it doesn't. Alright, let's have a good bandit fight and then we're wrapping up the episode. Polly, Moves in. And starts to engage with one of these archers. Good, next up, Dilly G. Let's kill the high damage targets first. We can almost one-shot them. Hit. And kill. Alright, moving up. You shouldn't attack uh, he has retaliation going and that means you're taking more and more damage <laughs> Rovi just claws him I love the bear great fun having him on the party Keep on going. All right, we are moving up. Take from behind. 
nice little finisher moves over here and that was galvanization which is exactly what we were waiting for because now we're dealing more damage Charging back, best friends. New round is starting. Okay, cool. Well, I tell you what. Um, we're giving everybody a nice little inspiration. Because that means we're fast. And when we're fast, Daily G can simply move up and do tricks like these. 133, holy. <laughs> Suds busted. Okay, we're looting uh, and Miss Grell. We'll get some level up. I wanted to get everybody to 15 willpower, which is a super important breakpoint. So that's what we're doing. She's level six. We don't have, well, we have the money, but we would be cutting it short. Let me camp and show you how the upgrades work. Also need to pay everyone here. Oh yeah, nice. Get an aptitude point, that is great because that solves our willpower problem. She is now at 16 willpower. Uh, power. Namri, 16. Uh, JP, 16. Miss Grell, 16. Jim is done. Andrews is done. Dilly is almost done. Zoe is almost done as well. So both of them need one more upgrade and then we're good, which is huge. Afterwards, I think I will do some more movement. And then of course, main damage stat. So what you're doing in order to uh, upgrade it is weapon goes out of the inventory guys over there are and then you can put it in here and it costs quite a bit of money. But it's worth Those it. Guys over there are rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the same mistake. Learn. Those guys over there are rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the same mistake. Learn new skills if you don't want to end up like them. It's nice how she insults her own teammates. Yeah, I think that's it. Those were the one, uh, the things that we could uh, sell for. Now we're down to 400. This is how fast 2,000 gold pieces just go out of the window, right? Anyways, we're 45 minutes in, which tells me this is a perfect moment uh, to end the episode. Uh, next up, we are going to go to uh, Abbot Theodothene, and I think in the next episode I'll uh, show off one of uh, those bandit fights as well, because I find them quite amusing. 
So thanks for watching. If you upgraded uh, your hammer in real life, then smash the like button and show me that you can deal enough critical damage to overcome its damage resistance. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Bye bye.